Hey everyone, welcome to my medical school application series here on White Coats and Corgis. Most of you probably know me from Instagram or TikTok where I make helpful free content for pre-meds and talk about my personal journey as a first generation medical student. My mission here on YouTube is to give students all the information they need for a career in medicine. Today's video is sponsored by MedCerts and they have a huge database full of information for pre-meds looking for jobs that will give them clinical experience. And I will have all that information linked in the description. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the jobs that are best suited for pre-meds who are looking to get really significant clinical experience to go on their medical school application. So the first job I'm gonna talk about is medical scribe. So a medical scribe is somebody who's going to help in the creation and maintenance of a patient's medical record. And this is going to be created under the supervision of an attending physician. So you're going to get a lot of shadowing time with physicians built into this career. A scribe is going to document the patient's story, the physician's interaction with the patient, any procedures that were performed, results of laboratory studies, and any other relevant information. Additional functions of a scribe might include ordering lab studies, radiology studies, and just assisting with the patient throughout the entire encounter. Medical scribes can also expect to assist providers with administrative tasks like handling phone calls, retrieving lab results, and other duties that are needed to improve the efficiency of that practice. The next job I would highly recommend for pre-meds looking for clinical experience is an EKG technician. So an EKG technician is going to perform diagnostic tests that aid doctors in identifying and treating cardiovascular problems in their patients. What's really cool about this job is you can also get additional on-the-job training to specialize in areas like cardiac catheterization, Holter monitoring, and stress testing. For this job, though, I would recommend having two qualities. Number one, making sure that you have an, a high interest in mechanical equipment and are good with technology. And number two, being able to really empathize with patients and understand that a lot of patients might be apprehensive about the testing procedure. So being able to reassure them and comfort them is going to be really helpful in this role. The next job I'm going to talk about is for any pre-med who is potentially interested in becoming a surgeon. So if that is something that you could see for yourself in the future, I would highly recommend looking into becoming a surgical technologist. So a surgical technologist is going to prepare operating rooms, arrange equipment, prepare patients, and assist doctors during surgeries. They have a really unique opportunity to interact with patients before, during, and after surgical procedures. Before surgery, the techs can assemble the necessary surgical equipment and ensure all of the devices are in working order. And they also prepare patients for surgery by positioning, draping, washing, and disinfecting the incision site. During the operation, they can pass sterile equipment and instruments to the surgeons. They also maintain a sepsis during surgery, anticipating the surgeon's needs and trying to remain attentive to all aspects of the surgical procedure to make sure that the environment is safe for the patient patient. They might also hold retractors or set up robotic surgical equipment. And after the surgery, techs often dress the incision site, transport patients to their recovery rooms, and restock the operating room with supplies and equipment. So this is a really interesting opportunity for any pre-med who might consider a career in surgery to see what it's like and get a lot of patient exposure as well as opportunities to speak with current surgeons. So hopefully by this point, you found a career that's really interesting to you. And if that's the case, I'd like to tell you a little bit about how you can get started with the certification process. So MedCerts is a company that provides career services that helps pre-meds find jobs. They have career coaches that have industry experience and kind of understand the skills that you need to get the jobs. MedCert's programs include video lectures from industry subject matter experts. This foundational knowledge is presented with supporting imagery, 2D and 3D graphics, animations, diagrams, and all sorts of different ways to visualize the content. What I love is that they actually created interactive activities that allow you to learn real tasks and practice hands-on clinical skills repeatedly in a safe manner. So that's going to allow you to build familiarity and comfort before you actually have to do these things in a real scenario.
In addition to their online programs, they also can help connect you with hands-on experience for certifications. In addition, they have an employer network with over a thousand partners who are eager to get the first pick of their graduates. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, take a look at the video description now. I have a link there that will take you to an entire database of potential pre-med jobs and their certifications. So the next career I would recommend for pre-meds is called a mental health support specialist. So this is a job that most pre-meds probably haven't heard of, but it's a really great opportunity to interact with patients and create a lot of great stories to include in your personal statement and the activities section of your medical school application. So mental health support staff are going to have the opportunity to interact with clients on a day-to-day -day basis, and they're going to participate in things like client intake, crisis care, inpatient care, and even assistance with some clinical skills like taking vital signs and activities of daily living. They are going to support and assist the client through all phases of their treatment, helping to provide a physically safe and therapeutic environment, which may include encouraging the client to participate in group therapy or support the client by communicating observations and concerns to their mental health care team. They also have a role in documentation of both clinical duties and their observations of their clients. And finally, the last job I'm going to talk about is physical therapy aid and administration specialist. So this is a fantastic pre-med job for anyone who's interested in careers like orthopedic surgery, PM&R, or family medicine. So a physical therapy aid works in an environment where patients are recovering from injuries and illnesses and where their care plans are implemented to help these patients regain movement and manage their pain. Aids will often perform tasks that are indirectly related to patient care, such as getting the treatment area ready, moving patients, and performing administrative or clerical duties. Other things include preparing hot and cold packs, sanitizing equipment, and assisting with patient intake. Often, aides are responsible for documenting patients' responses during exercise and communicating with their doctors and physical therapists about their patients' progress. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more!